What's going on YouTube? Geothan right here. So in today's video we have some important updates to Dopamine Jailbreak. Several of them have been released, so we're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SimLock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So the Dopamine Jailbreak, which is widely popular and is compatible with iOS 15.0 up to 16.6.1 on a variety of devices from the oldest to the newest, is now available in multiple versions, including 2.0. 2.1.2, 2.1.1 and 2.1 which have been released in the span of two days and as you can see the change log for 2.1 is huge and then we have a couple of revisions which are essentially fixes for various regressions in 2.1 and uh, according to the uh, dopamine developer OPA334 the latest version 2.1.2 is out to fix one more 2.1 regression so really the important update we have to focus on is 2.1 released two days ago so you can see here it first adds support for A and A X devices. Now these were not initially supported by Dopamine Jailbreak and it's now available, it's now supported so you can use it on those devices as well. It also fixes a couple of things including Dopamine app instantly crashing when installed with Trollstore on A8, adds kcall implementation on ARM64 on iOS 15, uses kcall for allocating page tables when available, improved performance for some parts of the jailbreaking process, fix support for some obscure devices and version combinations for example A9 on 15.0.1 and early 15.0 betas. It also adds some improvements to the exploit settings. For example, it now picks the most recommended exploit for your version of iOS, which is great. It also switched to libgrab kernel 2, which removes the requirement for dopamine to be installed by Trollstore on beta versions. So there's a lot of changes in here. Definitely go ahead and read the full log. Then we have 2.1.1, which fixed code sign bypass filing on binaries and libraries that have ARM7S slice, and this one is a regression fixes sharing files to jailbreak apps not working in some instances, and string corruption in sandbox bypass. And then 2.1.2 we have fix app switcher not displaying the preview image of jailbreak apps in some cases, which is another regression, and sandbox allow writing to var jb var mobile system wide. So that's essentially it. If you want to update your jailbreak, which is definitely recommended, go ahead and get the dopamine IPA or TIPA file. The IPA file can be installed with Trollstore. You can also get this in here. You navigate to lkit.space slash dopamine, the official website, and press open in Troll Store, and you will be able to install it directly on your device. But definitely go ahead and update your dopamine jailbreak. There are important changes available. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.